Abdul Muqsid here with another tutorial on CrocoBlock. Today we will discuss how you can verify user email while they sign up using a new feature of JetForm Builder. So let's start. Alright, so I have made two videos in my channel. One is to activate user by email. It was a custom method we built by ourselves. And there was another video about user registration without username and password. Now the tutorial I am sharing today will replace these two videos. So if you need some sort of tactics or methodology, you can check this video. Otherwise, you have to use the new one. So we have a uh, I have opened this in incognito because I will be using the Google Chrome normal window for my administration and the incognito window for testing. So we have a sign up button and we have a jet form builder with first name last name and email you can remove these two fields also if you want go to dashboard and go to plugins and make sure the version of jet form builder is updated to as of now it's 3.2.1 okay let's go to jet form builder And the name of our form is I think user sign up click on edit I already made the form you can follow the steps I have first name last name email and sign up okay if you click on jet form and scroll down you will see a new option called verification these are the actions we have in jet form builder you will see something called verification here once you update the jet form builder verification must be on top you cannot it you cannot make it second third or fourth option click on the pencil icon it will show you the options first option is link live Spain how many hours the link should be active by default it's four you can make it one it means this link which will be sent to user will be active for one hour if you make it zero it will never expire now personally I am expecting minutes here as well because normally usually we use 10 minutes or 15 minutes to make it live so if we enter something like 0.4 or something I'm not sure whether it will work in minutes or not second option is email field which field in your form will be used for email verification in our case it's email address so you should choose email address third option we have email notification so email notification by default jet form builder will send a generic template which consists email verification link but if you want your own you can turn this option on and you can add an email action right now if you see on the right side i already added that one but the event should be default dot process okay so this email will be sent prior to verification once the verification is done these two action will be performed which are verification dot success i will explain it a bit more in few minutes the success page once someone successfully verify the email they should go to dashboard because in my website i have dashboard so they will go directly to the dashboard otherwise if the link failed or they click after four hours five hours take them back to sign up okay let me open the email template so here it is asking which field you should use for email we are using email address and this is a macro which is used to insert your website name automatically and this is my template let me copy and show you my template I will paste it here and run okay so dear first name it's a placeholder it will be replaced by the first name and this one with the site this is the link and here you can show them that the link will expire in four hours five hours or one hour based on your requirement okay now here if you see I am using a button you can have a static link also but in button there is a placeholder variable from jet form builder which is jfb underscore verification URL this is the verification URL you can paste it directly here also but since I am using a button I have added it in href so this is my email template
and here I am sending the URL if you click on this range icon you will see this placeholder we have token ID and we have verification token and we have verification URL for verification you need to use the URL once they receive this email and click on the link then these two action will be executed let's click on register user here you need to map your field so for user login we will use email address for email email address for password we will use secure unique token this is automatically generated by JetForm builder so we will use it as a password and we will send it through email this is the second action through email to user also and they will change it later on confirm password first name last name and here you can choose the role cancel and this is the last email which they will receive after confirmation so let's see what we have here okay this is just some notes and they can log in here your temporary password is verification token this is the same token we set for them in the password section and you can change it from account setting so this is account setting once they log in they can go to settings and they can change their password if they want now remember these two action will be performed once the verification is successful you have to click on these arrows dynamic condition and events and the event should be verification dot success mean once the email is verified then it can be executed if you forget these two option or these verification dot success it will be executed directly okay let's click on update and let's check here refresh I will use one of my email and click on sign up please verify your email from the email sent to your inbox I will open my email refresh so we already received the email I will copy the link from here and let's go back to our incognitive window and we'll paste it here now the email is successfully verified and we are redirected to our dashboard if you go back and check users you will see the new user with the email specified that's how you verify the email address of a user now it's not subject to use only for sign up you can use it for other purposes also if you want to verify the user email use the first step and once it is verified then you have to use the second step if you want to learn more about uh, the documentation i will paste the link in description if you have any question please write in comments thank you so much